In this video, we're going to take an overview look of GarageBand, breaking up the interface and focusing on the bottom half. Okay, moving along with GarageBand's interface, we're going to take a look at the time code. Now, that's more focused over here on the LCD screen on the bottom in the middle of GarageBand right here. And uh, there's actually a couple different ways we can look at time within a musical composition. One of the ways that a song or time within a musical composition is broken down is by measures, bars, beats, and even down to counts. Now, as you can see that the play marker is at the very beginning of the song. So down at the LCD screen, it displays measure one, beat one, count one. So that's at the very, very beginning of the song. And if we were to, let's, let's just go ahead and grab the play marker and drag it over somewhere right about here. And we take a look at the LCD display again. Now it says measures seven, beat one, count one. So wherever the play marker is at within the song, that is what the LCD displays. Okay, let's go ahead and play the play button. And as you can see, the numbers are going climbing up as the play marker moves along within the song. Now why you would take a look at measures, bars, and beats is because songs are usually broken down into introductions versus choruses and bridges and, and so on. And you can really structure your song well by knowing how many measures, how many beats the songs has, and structure your song in that order. Uh, usually songs have about 8 to 16 measures or bars within a verse or a chorus. So it's a good way to keep track of, of all that good stuff. Now if we click on this little arrow up or down, it, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and go up, it changes the LCD screen to regular time, as in hours, minutes, and seconds. So if you don't want to keep track of the measures and beats, that you currently are at within the play marker, you can take a look at just regular time. Another useful and common reason why you would look at the regular time for the song is if you're using something of video or scoring a film or some sort of a video, you can keep time within the video and where you're at within the song. For example, if you're making a film and it's scene one, take one. Scene one, take one is 30 minutes within the film. You can go ahead and just jump to 30, 30 minutes within the film and start from there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, hit that up arrow one more time. And now the LCD displays the key that the song is in, the tempo, and the time signature. Now the key helps us show what, uh, what scales, what the proper scales that the song should be played or sung in. Now if you're not too musically inclined, you don't have to worry too much about setting the correct key. It, it won't necessarily affect the song unless you're using um, some type of pitch correction. And uh, I'll get into detail about that a little, little bit later on. The tempo is uh, the faster the tempo, or the higher the number is the faster the song tempo is. So that gives you uh, the numbers of beats per minute is the tempo and currently we're at the default of 120 beats per minute and lastly we have the time signature which is a 4-4 time signature now that means 4 represents the quarter note and the other 4 represents there's 4 beats per measure so what a 4-4 time signature means is every quarter note gets one beat and there are four beats per measure. So if you go ahead and click on the time signature, you have the options of multiple time signatures. Uh, the most common one is 4-4, so GarageBand does default 4-4. Um, but you can, if you want to get really creative, you can do a 6-8 or um, a 12-8. 
Um, but most songs are generally not in those time signatures, but go ahead and have fun with that. Let's go ahead and check out what else the LCD displays. Uh, this is one of my favorites, is a built-in tuner. So you can, uh, you can tune your guitar, you can, you can sing, you can literally sing into your microphone and see what note you're hitting. So that's a real, real useful tool that you can toggle between. Um, and click that one more time and that brings us back to measures. So that's about it for the LCD screen. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com.